then let's have a look at curves, shapes and pen mode. And what we're going to do is trace a guitar and creating curves in pen mode. Now, pen mode can initially seem quite difficult and, and I must confess it's not all that easy. And on the iPad, where you've got a smaller area to work with, it can be a little tricky. You can see that's the artboard I've got there and I've enlarged, oh, moved everything. Enlarge the artboard so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now on the tools panel, you select the pen tool and set the mode to pen mode. So we'll select the pen tool, that's it there. And we'll select the mode down there to pen mode. There are a number of other modes, but we want the pen mode. Okay. So we just tap on that to get rid of that pop up there and click on the page at the guitar body's left end pin. That's the strap button, I guess. This will place a sharp node on the page at, at point A, shall we call it. Now, because this is very small, we want this as near to as we can get it. Do we want to set that line any thicker? It's the default width is 0.7. Mm, okay, just let's, let's leave it at 0.7 for the moment and see how we go. Now there's the node, you can see it's right next to the letter A on the left hand side and there's a blue box in there now. So we position the cursor, cursor at the first inflection point clockwise, then drag upwards and outside the curve slightly and release. A curve is created that fits the outline as you adjust the leading control handle. Now this is interesting, if we hold it on there and draw up and outside there's the leading control handle and that's really messed it up you see so what you've got to do let's undo that line you cannot take your pen off that thing so on there and draw up to right in the center of that dot. So it's center to center. Now you can see that there's a line across there. And by moving that, you can control where that line goes. And you think, how the heck can you draw anything with that? Well, you can't, of course, it's, a, it's pointless. Let's undo that try again. Click on the page of the guitar body's left pin that will place a sharp on the page and we've got to move up to the next point. So we can put a point there and move up to the next point and you can see you've got a line drawn between the two. You can see I'm just, I've just touched that point once it's drawn. And because I'm moving the leading point, it's moving that bar. And the further down you've got that, see the bottom of those dots, the further down, the more control you've got over that. So let's just leave that there and let's go around to the next dot. which is there. You can see the line drawer in there. Now what we need to do is grab the handle from there so we can move that line up. And there's our handle there. Moving along a little bit so that that line is curving around nicely there. And then release it. Just ignore that line up the top there. That's a, that's a, um, a guideline. Now this one's going to be slightly different because there's an odd curve there. So let's see what happens when I go to there. There's the next curve. You can see the line 
just inside the curve of the guitar. Very carefully placing the pen and taking that point out there and going that way because we want to move that up. That's about right, according to my eye. Okay, we're slowly working our way around the guitar. Now, the, because the line is very thin, it's in like a one millimeter line there, it's not showing. This curve is going to be quite different. Point there. And you can see it's almost, the curve has followed the curve, so it's not, it's not too bad. So this should be a little easier. There we go. You can see the line is quite smooth. I could have made that line a lot thicker, I suppose, and it would have shown up. But now we have a problem because I've got to move the guitar so I can get to the other things. So we go back over here, click on the move tool, and let's move that across there. Now you can see the box goes around there. That's where we've got it selected so far. Let's go back to the pen tool. The vertical line that goes down to the guitar strings from just above there is where we're up to. Let's go back to pen mode and you can see the point immediately pops up there. So let's go to the next point and get that as exact as we can. And there it is, you can see the lines just underneath the main guitar body line. So, and you can see down there, it's just above it because that previous line doesn't, I didn't finish it exactly. That's very difficult to do. So where are we gonna leave that line? We should be able to come back and adjust that later. You can see the left hand node there, the very thin line is just marginally above the thicker line of the guitar. Let's move this one to here. That's not too bad. Next one to there. And from what I can see, that's actually followed the curve quite nicely itself. Next one there. Oh, that's, that's a bit tighter. There we go. Next one there. That's, hmm. There we go. Okay, next one. We're working our way down to where the neck of the guitar is. Now that one's got quite a curve. There we go. Almost, almost exactly on point. Now repeat this. Mm, we've got right around to there. Mm. Okay, now we're getting, we've got a couple more to go and we're on the guitar head. That one there. Oops, that's not too bad. Then down to there. Straighten that up a bit. Go back to the move tool. Now we've got to get along to that, right to the guitar head there. So you position the cursor at the intersection of the body and neck, and that's where we're up to, and drag the leading control handle along the guitar neck's outline to the guitar head, and then we should be able to click a straight line on there. So we're there. Oops, let's move tool, let's get the pen tool back. So the red circle from there. And we've got that marker there. 
And that's a pretty straight line. There's a straight line along there. Straight line to there. Let's move this back to the pen tool. And we've got to go right along. So we'll stay there because we've got to go around those um, adjustment keys and hold it there. So we'll hold this here for this for the moment. <clears throat> now in the um, in the interim, what I've done is make the line we're drawing a little wider and change the brush color or the pen color to red. So it's a little easier. Just let me get rid of the history there that I accidentally pulled up, and you can see the red goes right around. Now, because we're going to be adjusting this lady, you can see it's not terribly accurate in places. That's fine. We've got the outline there, but that's what we're looking at. And we can make adjustments later. And we've gone right around and closed off the curve at the end, closing a curve to make a shape. And that was at this end, the left-hand end. Let me see if I can undo that slightly. Okay, see there's the left hand end, the red line stops there. Now where we started is just up the top. Select pen mode, make sure we're in pen mode. You can see the blue line going between the two points. And I've got close curve on, on and it was off. And we just touch there and there's the curve closed. Slightly out of line. There we go. Back up to the move tool so nothing gets inadvertently moved any worse than it is. But you can see with the thickness of that, that that now goes around the entire guitar. And we can move on from then. Moving segments and nodes, changing node types, adding nodes and editing curves is where we'll go next. Some of these can be quite difficult, so I'll add them as we go along. Introducing new segments, asymmetric reshaping of curves, and other pen tool modes. Where we're going to use the guitar plectrum in smart mode, guitar bridge polygon mode, and guitar strings line mode. This is quite a lot of guitar there to copy. And as you can see, um, we haven't actually got it all. Let's have a look at the layers. And we'll turn off the guitar and see what we've got so far. The guitar's missing and you can see the outline quite clearly. Of course, there's still the strings and things that are there. Not too sure which ones of these are related to that. But there we go. We'll work that out later. 